Hi everyone for tonight's nightcap and review. I'm having water and tonight I'll be reviewing Fracture by A.K. Draven. This is a book I received as an arc but of course I'm giving my honest opinion. These are the tropes and these are the content warnings. My rating for this book is going to be a four. So what's this book about? So this book is about a group called The Order, which is a group of four hitmen that see themselves as weapons, shadows, and killers, and they are very good at what they do. And that's because they have four very simple rules when it comes to their jobs. Don't ask questions, execute the job, don't get caught, and don't get killed. But these are not the only rules that they live by in their life. The other set of rules that they live by is for their personal lives. Stick together, uh, do not let anyone interfere or create a barrier between them, uh, protect each other at all cost, wear a fucking condom, and sharing is caring. And all these rules seem to be working out for them so far. That is until recently as they've been having trouble locating their next target. But that may be due to the fact they are a little distracted by someone who has been on their radar for a while and has decided to step up and start playing pranks on them in their own home. But what they don't realize is that these pranks could be a lot worse. They could be and should be due to the fact that she is a hit woman, an unhinged woman at that, and she is there to do a job. They are her job and she always finishes her jobs and take out her target. So the question becomes when these groups finally clash, who will come out on top? Now, what are my thoughts? Again, I'm giving this four stars. Now, I do want to say not every book and not every author's writing style is for every reader. So while I did enjoy this book, I do not believe this author's writing style is for me. And that's because at times I was left a little confused as to who was doing what, who was saying what, and who was doing who. And that can be due to the fact that this is a wide choose. And with so many people involved in a scene, if things are not clearly laid out, I can get a little confused. I'd be reading something and then my brain would stop and be like, wait, I thought this was happening or this person was doing that. In this scene and it turns out it's someone completely different and it would take me out of what I was reading and I would then have to go back and reread the passage. So while I did enjoy it, I didn't always enjoy those moments of confusion where I'd have to go back and reread something. But again, I did enjoy the book and that is due to the characters as they were all a dirty, crazy, unhinged bunch that really belonged together. As you read the book, you find each one has gone through their own set of trauma, which makes them understanding to each other's needs and you really get strong found family vibes. Now, that's also to say that they had intense, strong chemistry, which means this book has a lot of hot, dirty, and dark, spicy times. Now, I do want to say this book is marketed as a wide choose, but I do want to say Iris, our female main character, is not always the main focus. What I mean by that is that our four male main characters were a found family before that, and they were intimate and have emotional connections between each other before she came along. Uh, they did at times bring in female partners, but those partners were only there as a placeholder until Iris could join, and once she's in the group, it's just the cherry on top. And it definitely, like I said, gives the found family vibes. Now, if I had to choose some favorite characters, it would probably would be Kai and Iris who are the most unhinged of the bunch so what does that say about me now again overall I did enjoy this book I just don't think this author's writing style is for me but just because it wasn't for me doesn't mean it won't be for you and I strongly encourage you to give this book a try if it sounds like something you're interested in and I hope you love it this book will be available October 23rd so give it a try I hope everyone has a good night and happy readings